Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Megan, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering. Off my sampler platter. <gasps> yes, indeed, folks, I'm Player V, Series V's I've been do doing for a little while. I'll go over there and try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that Tom, I'm doing this, folks. I'm not going to lie. All the nuggets, just an avalanche of nuggetry. But we'll get to that. Folks, it's a super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm going to yammer on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. And folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing for you today, folks? Well, it happens to be my boom... My, oh God, I did manage to get sauce on it. Oh, well, it is my OG PlayStation shirt, the original. I love the original PlayStation. Um, I don't really bring it up all that often or anything in my reviews, because why the hell would I? It doesn't have anything to do with what I'm reviewing, typically. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually a big old video game fan. I grew up as a gamer. Uh, you know, started, you know, I mean, not like the oldest of old schools, but... You know, I started with the original NES. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Nintendo, as we called it. My first system was actually... My first, like, real belong-to-me system was a Sega Genesis. Still love the Genesis. But the PlayStation, for me, was it. Like, I cannot overemphasize how much of a seismic shift it was when the PlayStation came out. Like, just the fact that, like, now 3D graphics were, like, the norm and could actually function and do what they were supposed to do, more or less, was just such a holy shit moment. Um, and for that reason, I always love to rep the, the original PlayStation. As much as I love, again, I love all my systems, not equally. PlayStation is my baby. But anyway, what am I trying for your day, folks? Why is it all the nuggets? Well, folks, that's because I hopped on out to... Boom! KFC, what with the kernel, because they have a new line of items called Saucy Nuggets, and basically all it is is it's their nuggets put in sauces and then given to you. Basically, they don't trust you to apply your own sauce, and so they're like, eh, fuck it, we'll do it for you, and to be fair, given some of the human beings I've met in my life, eh, that's a pretty, I would say that's a safe assessment. Actually, if I'm being honest, I kind of think that this is their response to Popeyes and their flavored wings. Because they basically Popeyes does the same thing, except they're just bone-in wings instead of nuggets. So, just saying. But anyway, so they have a, ri or a line of sauces that they put this stuff in. And which one am I doing for you? I just got through doing their Georgia Gold sauce. And now I'm doing, boom! It, it, honey Sriracha! Which... Because this is honey sriracha, even though they're not calling it hot honey, that's basically what it is, this review is going to end up on my hot honey is the money playlist. Because for whatever reason, heat and honey has been like the trend of 2024, and so I just, I've been reviewing enough stuff, I decided to make a playlist for it. Let's try out some honey sriracha wings, or not wings, nuggets from KFC. I mean, I can't imagine this being bad fucking honey sriracha that's just that's just a good time so let's kind of and let's let's try to get a, a thing for the thing Maybe. Ha, 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 ha. sure why not let's give it a go you do man i will say one thing man they got small fucking nuggets that's just a thing but That's good. I like that a lot. Okay. Maybe not quite as much as I thought I was going to like it, but I do still really like it. Um, funny thing is, I remember, first thing I can remember, I'm sure it wasn't the first thing, first thing I can remember that combined, like, the sriracha flavor with, like, a honey thing, was actually Heinz, when they were doing, like, their fusion sauces, and I think they still do them, too. I reviewed a bunch of them, by the way. One of the ones that I reviewed was their Honey Racha Sauce. And I remember being like, this is a game changer, man. This is amazing. Um, and then after that, it just kind of seemed to take off. Yeah, I mean, 
these are good, man. It's a really solid sauce. I definitely like it more than the Georgia Gold, even though I, I enjoyed, the, enjoyed the Georgia Gold for what it was. Um, I mean, as for the chicken itself, it's KFC chicken. You're either into that or you're not. You know, like, I, I'm more of a Popeye's guy, if I'm being honest, but I'm perfectly down with some KFC chicken. I've never felt that you had to choose one or the other. I think, you know, you can enjoy both for what they bring to the table. Uh, and yeah, man, you know, so the chicken is good. It tastes like KFC chicken. The sauce is obviously the main star of the whole thing. And it's one of those things where it's like, I kind of feel like, you know, to make an analogy, it's like an NBA player that has a good rookie year. Then it has like a good, like maybe two years after that, you know, or maybe it even manages to make like, you know, a single all-star appearance. And then for whatever reason, it just drops off because I was really loving the flavor of this. I was like, I like the sriracha flavor. I like the sweet that I'm getting from it. But then it kind of tapered off instead of like reaching this nice crescendo that it was building towards. It just didn't quite get there. And that's a shame because it, otherwise these are really tasty. Really flavorful. And again, you can taste that sriracha flavor. It's got the nice mix of the sweet and the heat. I'm very down with that. Um, but yeah, it never... It never gets to the point with the sweet or the heat that I personally would like. You know, it's one of those things where it's like, it's just... It's really good. And then either I wanted to hit that heat level, that nice sriracha heat... Or I wanted to take it, you know, to the next level with that sweetness to really push it over the edge. It just doesn't quite get there. But it's still good. And for that, I'm going to kind of dub these the Derrick Rose of uh, chicken nugget sauces, at least from, from KFC. Because, if you, you know, you followed uh, basketball during the 2010s. D-Rose, and I still love D-Rose. I still think he's a genuinely great player. Obviously phenomenal player, won the MVP, deserved it, fuck you LeBron, um, sorry, but I'm tossing that out there, I don't even hate LeBron or anything like that, guy flops like a fucking fish though, um, just cast in shade for no reason, but yeah, you know, D-Rose, excellent player, ended up with some bad knee injuries, you know, still a really solid player, still go over there, he did, dropped his career high after the injuries, but, Never quite the same player. Never got to that level of player that we all wanted him to be. But still has had an incredible career in the NBA. So that's what I'm attributing these to. And that is my sports analogy for the year. Because how the fuck often am I going to bring up sports in these? But anyway, two questions have to be asked. Would I get these again? Would I recommend them? I'm going to go with yes and yes. Because just like with D-Rose, you know, as much as yeah... I like to go back to his highlight reels and just watch the incredible athleticism he had, the explosiveness. When he was at the top of his game, there was nobody in the league who could stop it. You know, he just, if he got the ball and he was in motion, you were done. Just just let him fucking make the basket. That's how damn good he was. And, but then there is the rest of his career where it's like, yeah, it's not going to be filled with a lot of highlights, but he's still in the NBA. He's still contributing. He's still doing his thing. And that really is kind of what these come down to. They're not as good as I would like, but they are really tasty, especially in that initial hit of flavor. And I think that, yeah, man, I would still pick these up. I don't think they're the best incarnation of, like, a hot honey type of thing that I've had. But at the same time, they're far from the worst. So, yeah, you know, I'd put them kind of upper middle. Uh, and if I'm recommending them, I think that, honestly... These are ones that would probably be pretty easy to recommend. The heat level is pretty minimal. It's there, but it's very manageable, so I don't think most people take issue with it. And I think that, you know, again, just in terms of the actual flavor, that burst that you get, I do think that's really solid. Just, again, I wish you had just gotten to that next level. We still love you, D-Rose! But anyway... Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Stupendous rest of your folks. Go over there. Have yourselves a truly, let's get D-Rose to retire as a bull-tastic rest of your life, man. Because we just, come on, man. We did it with Joakim Noah. You know, come on, man. We can make this happen. <laughs>
people are over there who don't give a shit about sports, just like, bah, 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 bah. like I don't care, damn it. I almost never bring up sports because I don't like sports that much, but I do like I do like the Bulls to a certain extent, especially that era of Bulls. That was such a good era of Bulls. We didn't win a championship, but the heart was there. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated, but what you do if you can't do all the time, I know I can't do all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You try not to be an asshole. Folks, not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, folks. And when we find ourselves in said situations dealing with said bullshit, it's important that we go over there, take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholeness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Hey, folks, obviously, like I said, I've been using the sports reviews and stuff like this. Are you into any sports? Do you follow anything? Do you play anything? If you do, please comment down below. I genuinely like to hear about it. Because, again, I'm not a sports guy. I'm really not. Which, being from, like, the Illinois-Chicago area can be difficult sometimes because we have a fair amount of, you know, prominent sports teams. And the only one I like are the Bulls, and even then, only when they're doing well. I'm fully happy to be a Fairweather fan. If they're the organization is sucking ass, then I don't give a damn. Right now, we're, we got some good players. Um, but no. And hey, maybe you're like the biggest LeBron fan in the world. You're like, fuck you, man. He's LeBron, and you know he's over there. He's got the longevity and blah, 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 blah. I mean, we could have a friendly debate over it. We won't, because it'll eventually not end up friendly. <laughs> But if you want to comment to that effect, that's fine. And again, I think LeBron is a fine player, just maybe maybe just a bit overreaching as far as, like, the GOAT stuff is concerned. But that's just me. That's just me. I grew up in the 90s. So, anyway, bye.